Ren, Ren, Ren. I kind of reached another little mind, uh, mind stone. Good start to the video, well done. Uh, milestone, which is two million views. So I've now got two million views on my YouTube channel. And again, a massive thank you to everyone who watches the videos. Uh, if you just stop occasionally for tutorials or you watch the vlogs, and if you comment, um, particularly appreciate those people who comment. Uh, some of you comment regularly, you'll know who you are. Um, anybody who shares the videos, that's even better. So again, a massive thank you. Thank you for the support. It really helps to grow the channel. Um, I'm gonna just go off this footpath because, <coughs> excuse me, um, I just think it'll be more visually interesting. This is video is a really short one just about what I'm gonna do uh, this year, 2022, 20, 2021. Don't write the year off quite yet. Um, yeah, what am I gonna do on my channel? Well, I'm still gonna be making the same tutorial, you know, trying to look at tutorial content um, because I know a lot of people get a lot of value out of that. Uh, so looking at specific tips and techniques in nature photography. And I'm also gonna be doing the vlogs, but with the vlogs, I'm gonna try, oh, I like this, this is gorgeous. Um, I'm gonna try and just alter it a little bit with the vlogs. Um, I'm gonna, not gonna go over the top, but I'm gonna try and mix it up a bit more, uh, just to maybe put in more B-roll, more clips. I just keep it moving a bit faster. Um, I think I'll make it a bit more interesting. I certainly like the sound of that. Um, and then also what I really wanna do is to try and make it just a bit more involved, which is very difficult to do uh, when you're trying to vlog yourself filming uh, photographing wildlife which might disappear at any moment. It's much easier to do uh, when you're doing landscape. Someone's made a little den. I think it's like a little den in the background there. Yeah, it's much easier to do if you're doing landscape or macro photography. Not taking any way, anything away from those people who make those videos at all. Uh, but with wildlife, oh, what is it? Oh, it's a gold crest. It is a gold crest. I saw one before. Ah, oh, it's hanging. So it, it's like, it's sometimes on top of the branch and then it's sort of hanging underneath, hanging below the branch upside down. Oh, it's nice to know there's gold crests around here. There's loads of birds in this little, so I'm just gonna go completely off on a tangent. Uh, I know some people like that as well. But look at these birch trees, look at that. Yeah, this little clearing, it's like a little clearing. Ow! <laughs> bramble. <laughs> ah, bramble. So yeah, um, it's like a little clearing of, just ignore the pain, um, birch trees. And there's been a gold crest in here, there's one earlier, so it's a really good place. There's definitely gold crests around here. And long tail tits as well, because they follow me everywhere I go. Anyway, I'm totally rambling. What was I saying? Back to the video, which is, yes, uh, vlogs. Yeah, so it's, it's difficult to film the vlogs. So what I really want to do, because I think a lot of people like this, and I certainly do, is, is to try and make it as involved as possible. So, um, so like you're really on my shoulder, watching what I'm doing, uh, so you're much more in the moment, which is difficult, uh, this is why I tend to choose reliable subjects because I know the light is to stay there so I can actually do that. So I actually show you what I'm doing in practice in the field and with those tips and techniques in there and try and get a bit more b-roll of the actual uh, wildlife would be nice. I want to, uh, I said I wanted to do more wildlife filming like a few months back and I have a bit actually but a lot of it hasn't actually been shown to you because uh, I just haven't been able to fit it anywhere to be honest. Um, so anyway, this video is largely to say this. This is your opportunity to, um, <coughs> excuse me, to uh, there's a fly on the lens. It's an uh, opportunity to give me some suggestions. So any suggestions you've got for stuff you'd like me to do, whether it's a specific species maybe you'd like to see me uh, photograph, or a technique, maybe it's a technique um, that I haven't done or. I've done before but not in, in enough detail maybe. Just let me know. Put the suggestions in the comments box below. I will read all of them. I'll try to respond to as many of them as I can. I'm just gonna go a bit further. Uh, yeah, if it's possible and I think people are gonna watch the video, then I'll definitely consider making it. After all, you guys are the ones that watch. If you don't watch the video, then um, as much as I might enjoy making some of the videos. Oh, I love this wood. It's just, it's, oh, it's beautiful actually. It's such a little wood and I've driven past it a million times. I did one shoot in autumn, which was not the best uh, by a million miles, but um, 
yeah, it's really, really nice. It's a Yorkshire Wildlife Trust one. There's some really nice trees, like twisted trees, uh, twisted oaks, lovely oak branches, some really nice bark, loads of texture. Um, and <clears throat> the birch trees, look at this, check this out. Oh, look at that. I mean, how awesome is that? How, you know, you can find pictures in that. Uh, lots of beach, there's some more beach, oh, beach color in there and like moss there's plenty of moss as well so I am definitely gonna come here I'm gonna come in here and do a shoot I know I'm just rambling I don't care I'm just gonna just this video is what it is <laughs> I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna in the weather like this overcast light maybe a touch of light like we've got today and um, that makes a difference a lot of the time you know it's like overcast but you just get a touch of light you can't see it on the camera too well because it'll just it'll burn it out but we have a little bit of light just trying to push through Th those are some of the best conditions uh, for macro photography and probably for woodland photography actually um, I don't think I'm an expert by any means if you want to see woodland photography and macro check out Simon Booth's channel he is just an awesome photographer his attention to detail is just incredible and he's, he's a real real professional and a nice guy too so do check out Simon uh, if you haven't seen Espen's channel check out Espen Helland um, who else would I say why am I advertising other people's channels they don't pay me look at this moss oh. ah. <laughs> me get excited about moss right this is how much of a kid I am I'm 41 no I'm, well I'm 42 this year and I get excited by moss see that is the key if you still get excited by moss when you're 41 years old you know that you are meant to do something in some capacity. I'm going to show you this as well. I'm going to turn the camera around. I know some of you are like, what, what's he looking at? But honestly, the colours and the textures in there are just beautiful. And um, there's so much potential in this woodland. I say, particularly with the twisted trees, which I know we're going to look good in foggy conditions. If I could come with the right amount of fog in this wood, it's going to look really, really good. Um, and it's so close to home as well, which is obviously a lot of people are staying close to home. Um, so you need to make the most of the locations as much as you can. And that often means conditions, you know. Any location can look good in good conditions. It's not about the location. It's not about the subject. It's about the lighting conditions, how you compose the image, and being creative and putting your stamp on it. Sorry, it's overexposed. I'll, I'll get into the shadows soon. I am so rambling in this video and I do not care because I'm actually enjoying it. There we go. Look at, look at that. Look at that. In the shadow of the tree, perfect. <laughs> massive, massive tangent. Oh, I'm looking at some more trees. Oh my God. Let me show you these trees as well. Whoa. Is, is that not beautiful? You see the, hopefully some of you can see the potential uh, for photography in this wood. So I'll do that. I'll do a video. Let's check out this tree. This is, oh, is it an oak? I'm not, it's got so many, like so much, um, is it moss? Yeah, it's got so much moss on it. I can't even tell what tree it is. It's, I'm not too sure actually, but look at that. Yeah. Any suggestions you've got on any kind of video you'd like to see in nature photography, landscape, macro, and of course wildlife, and particularly bird photography, because that is what I'm generally known for then. Put it in the comments box below. I'm so distracted by this wood. So tomorrow, which is the 20 something of January, um, we've got forecast of heavy rain. Now I'm specifically looking for heavy rain forecast. I'm gonna get out tomorrow and I'm gonna do a video on photographing birds in the rain. So I'm gonna get myself all kitted out. I'm gonna get uh, my equipment kitted out. I'm probably just gonna to go to the local park and I'm gonna try and photograph some birds in hopefully the pouring rain, uh, experiment with some shutter speeds, hopefully get some really nice clear dark backgrounds and just talk you through it as much as I can. I do need a small umbrella, so I need like um, massive, massive massive favor someone out there could do for me is to come up with a suggestion for keeping the vlogging camera uh, out of the rain that I could carry around put down so 
I'm really looking for like a small umbrella, just like a miniature umbrella. I don't even think a child's one would, can you buy child, child umbrellas? I don't know. Uh, it'd be like a, an umbrella for like a, a weasel or something. I don't know, it'd be really, really small. And then I'll just, like if it's on the tripod, um, I could attach it to the tripod and just have it over the camera for when it's raining. Uh, or if I'm carrying it, I need a way of, of doing that as well. I'm gonna go this way because it's prettier. Um, more fantastic tree bark beautiful that's an oak isn't it yeah that's definitely I definitely looks like an oak um, <laughs> so yeah if you have any suggestions on that uh, that'd really help me out might save me some time thank you for watching this insanely rambling video both in terms of through the woodland and through my mind and um, as I look at some hazel trees getting all excited by branches oh wow look at that i'll see you next time